If someone has a custom grinder pump, why did they do that in the first place? And what is the difference between that custom one and the one that you want to replace it with? Is it going to be, is that considered a, an eagle swap or is that going to cause a problem? There have been some problems. Uh, say, I'll give you an example of a custom installation. Is if, if somebody took a tank, whether it's their septic tank or whatever, mm -hmm. and decided to use that because it's a much larger capacity and put some pumps into it. Uh, it's not a prefabricated pre unit that you buy. It's a custom unit that somebody selects a pump, somebody builds or buys a control panel and puts the units together and somehow installs it. Um, so that's a, a custom, that could be considered one of the custom installations. Okay, um, and further on that, um, if the, t the homeowner chose to do that, if I remember correctly in the, art the last year's article, um, we had agreed to replace an existing unit to, that was comparable to, it, it was going to be compatible to what we, our standard was. Right. So if they've opted to do something else, then aren't they responsible to opt to change it over? Shouldn't that be their responsibility? I mean, they did it in the first place. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the gray areas. You're talking a lot of money. Yeah, it's, it's one of the gray areas that's undefined. Uh, the town does have liability because if it's aware of a situation, it has to repair the pump. That's part of the bylaw. Uh, the town also has to fall under federal and state regulations when it comes to this because the bylaw did make it power, part of the sewer system. So we're responsible to take action, take action immediately to repair a problem. Uh, to minimize downtime and, and, and prevent any back backups uh, into the home and such. Okay, so. and on these custom units, do we have the parts, or how long is it going to take us to get the parts? Is it more expensive to repair? It's uh, we've identified uh, quite a few of them. Okay. And um, again, it, it's like somebody making their own pump station. Okay. So. The town, you know, it, it's not feasible to stock 10 different manufacturers' parts. Right. It's just, it's not cost effective. So when the pump fails, um, it would be scheduled to be replaced with a standard unit, whatever we decide that standard unit is, whether it's another E1 unit or okay. something else so appropriate. So what happens if the homeowner decides they don't want your unit, they don't want your standardized unit, the then units, what? Yeah, the units are privately owned, the homeowner can do basically what he wants. Okay, he so if there's a service it. call, they have their own service call, they have their own they maintenance have, agreements and whatever. They have the option to do that. All right, thank you.